Hi guys, I suppose the fact that these things end up in my inbox is a, well, a sort of a compliment, but as the writer pointed out, I will not be too proud of this at all. I still have a lot of Iranian mannerisms in me due to my exposure to the Tehrani crowd and still have a soft spot for the people. But what I saw now after just doing some superficial digging is really the pits. I mean, does religion really poison everything? Okay, let's see what the Iranians have come up this time around. Does anyone remember if a few years ago they added a missile using Photoshop because one of them went missing? Well, earlier this month it happened again. And I've shown in previous videos that Muslims have not really contributed anything constructive towards mankind in the last, what, 500,000 years? But what about destructive contributions? Well. Here it seems they're more creative and embark on huge projects, trying to find tools with which they can destroy objects and humans more efficiently. Such as this fighter plane, which of course is intended only as a deterrent, just like the weapons used in the Iran-Iraq war, which went through almost the entire 80s when Iraq invaded, well, not Kuwait this time, but Iran. Well, what do you do if you really, really, really want to have your own fighter plane? Well, you first claim that you can build one. And then what? Well, Muslims in the Islamic Republic of Iran have a solution. Pretend. Lie. Cheat. This is what, I mean, this is the announcement in several papers and, and in magazines. So in February 2013, it was finally unveiled, not at an air show as is customary, but a dreary hangar or, or a hall somewhere. And unlike the normal procedure where you get to see the plane in the air and then get some specs handed to you, here it is stationary, but with a pilot complete with an oxygen mask, but no specs. You, you don't. Nobody tells you how long, how wide, span, height, weight, thrust, weaponry. Uh, it, it, it doesn't tell you anything. You get absolutely nothing. Just a mind-boggling assertion that it could fly fast and low. <coughs> wow. Unlike other Iranian projects, but here there were press releases, photos, videos, further details, and even some glimpses of the testing processes. But what these were testing was never really shown. The video of a flying Khayer, the, the 313, the Dominator, turned out to be that of a radio controlled toy. But after the missile was added, the monkey shot into space had evolved into a different one and the space age drone turned to be a fake from Japan, one would think that the Muslim regime in Tehran would learn. Not so. Just after the unveiling of the plane on Iranian TV, during the anniversary celebration of the 79 revolution, it immediately came under criticism from aviation experts, who pointed out the wrong size, the shape, the aerodynamics, stating that this was a fiberglass, balsa wood and paper mache mock-up, and not real. The details were laughable indeed. I mean, look at the rear. The rear looks as though they, they ran out of putty. There, there is no nozzle. I mean, if you put an afterburner onto this, the whole thing is just going to go up in smoke. The, the cockpit is really miniature and it will not hold a pilot. I mean, and under this canopy without any closing mechanism, instruments which seem more at home in a little Chesna and a stick which looks more at home in a real aircraft, the good old F4. The speed indicator is not part of a jet aircraft and the what looks like a cassette player i mean it, it might play eight track cassettes the the lcd screen on the right is not visible to the pilot and the controls beneath it too what a joke but now instead of simply backing down <laughs> they launched a photo to silence the critics muslims well i mean they 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 went ballistic they said you see i told you so they were like full of glee and folded their arms with a smug smile on their faces. And indeed, the picture showed a plane over a mountain, Mount Damavant in, in Iran, and it seems to be flying there. But what was strange, though, was that someone some years ago had taken a photo of the area in Iran, complete with Mount Damavant, in exactly the same weather, and by sheer coincidence, with the identical cloud patterns, identical humidity, density, pressure, angles, everything the same. 
and also by sheer coincidence of course the canopy was without a real pilot and just darkened the plane had exactly the same light reflections the rear configuration bar the little red strap on it, it even this the same flat position as in the release photo hmm. can i reproduce this well it's actually just an easy four-step process you open up photoshop you load the mountain select an area crop it and overexpose You take the lasso, trace the contours of the plane, copy it, go back to the mountain picture, paste into the mountain and adjust the size. Finished. Oh, there is a step five, which is hope no one notices. In this case, they did. Oh, it's such a shame and so stupid. Are they ever going to learn? I mean, they're never going to learn. No, this is not a question. They are never going to learn. Well, and then, I, just as, as a matter of interest, I found out where they got the idea from. They probably saw this at this parade, and they said they saw this plane and said, hey, we can do that. We just make it a little bit bigger, and then the pilot will not look that stupid, and then we have ourselves a plane. And then later, when we're finished, I suppose this is the only thing that you could use it for. And I mean, this is what is called low flying, isn't it? Oh, and then why would they call it the the 313 so i opened the quran at 313 and there it says there has already been a sign a sign in the two armies that met one was fighting in the cause of allah the other resisting allah so we know exactly what prompted them to use this name then i went and opened 313 not 313 but 313 and there it says a guide and a mercy to the doers of god so here we see that the name 313 has a significance when fighting in the cause of Allah. Thank you for your time.